right. I think we're ready. Hello there. I'm Chachi Sanchez, and today I'm proud to present and teach you how to use the VR Citizen Auto Installer, the pride and joy of the VR Star Citizen community. This project has been on and off for a few years now by many talented people trying to make it work without any resources available to them. Eventually, a master coder by the name of Gaming Adler HD took over the project and committed to actually getting it up and running. Today, I am glad to show off their work. So, let's get started. But before we do that, thank you all for the voodoo that you do and your continued support for the community, whether it be watching me wherever I'm at or helping me out with community projects like this and more over on the Discord. We wouldn't be anywhere without you all, the VR citizens. Now, on to the tutorial. Installation note. This method requires a 4K monitor to run Star Citizen in a resolution FOV that fits inside of your headset. Modern headsets run above the 1440 or 1080p monitors that most people will have or own. In order to run VR on a lower resolution monitor, use the 4.0 VR Citizen setup tutorial on my YouTube channel and drop by the Discord to find out how to install the virtual monitor. Also, a copy of this .txt file will be available to download for free on the Verse Discord in the SC VR Startup Guide channel there. All links to anything important will be down in the description below. Enjoy! We have a new website that has all the information you could ever want on it. As you can see here, it goes over all the things that the new auto installer does for you, including, but not limited to, quick starting VR, automated Vorpex setup, restore points and backups, hook helper support, and much, much more. You can see pictures of the actual program in use and get a quick link to share this download setup tutorial if you wanted to show your friends for later. The tutorial will be posted right here. Unfortunately, we're making the tutorial right now, so I can't really show you that. Right below that will be the VR Citizen Download Launcher. Let's go ahead and get that downloaded now. Go ahead and click on the VR Launcher Zip, and then save that to your desktop. We have gone above and beyond to make this as seamless as possible for as many people as we can. So I hope you all enjoy being a part of the VR Citizen community now that it's more accessible than ever before. Next, we move on to downloading Vorpex. Vorpex hooks into any window that runs on your desktop and tries to force it stereoscopically into your headset. This is as good as VR is going to get for Star Citizen until CIG actually develop VR for the Star Engine. I give you my word as THE VR Citizen that if there was any other way of getting good VR for Star Citizen, then we as a community would be using it. This is what we use because it is the best. If you have your own program that can convert 2D windows into 3D stereoscopic VR that's free, then please drop us a link for it over in the Discord. Thank you for your attention. Download the VR Citizen Launcher from the website and then extract everything to its own folder somewhere you can remember it. So, right click, extract to VR Citizen Launcher. We're gonna drag that right here. Inside the folder is the VR Citizen Launcher and the debug tool. Extract both zips to here. So, look at these. Right click and extract to here. This should create two folders, one with the debug and one with the launcher. So, go ahead and click into the Launcher folder and run the Launcher. Make sure that you allow Windows to run the program and your antivirus as well if you have one. Once again, turn off your antivirus if you have one. Okay, and this is the VR Citizen Auto Installer. Now that you have the launcher running, the first step is to select all the install paths that you have for Star Citizen, Vorpex, as well as the RSI launcher. Be sure you double triple check the directories and make sure that you have the correct path, especially if you have multiple installs. Once that step is done, proceed to below that section and select your headset from the drop down menu. From there, select which resolution ratio you want to use. Use 16 by 9 for full immersion, and 4 by 3 if you wanted to see the menus and UIs and use those while playing. Mm -hmm. 
Note, some headsets run better in one or the other. Make sure you use the ratio that feels right for you. Also, selecting the ratio preset will allow you to change individual numbers and will automatically calculate the math for the other one. If you don't like how things look in the headset, there are many visual tweaks from resolution FOV changes to using the Vorpex Delete menu zoom settings. Keep trying and adjusting till it feels good for you and your headset PC setup. The Star Citizen's Game Settings tab lets you make sure that all of these are turned off in-game so that VR works the best. Use the Reset to Default button for best VR Star Citizen experience. These are Vorpex settings that we will have for the virtual monitor coming soon. And we have general info right here for those that want it. Multiple languages that have a drop down right here. And that's basically it. Once you have everything set correctly, hit save config and then apply and launch. Vorpex should launch if it already isn't running and the Star Citizen launcher should pop up in front of you. Now, go ahead and get into your chair, put on your headset and then launch Star Citizen in VR. One second. Not that one that one all right okay so here we are in our index we have hit save config we have hit apply and launch we minus this out the star citizen launcher is in front of us vorp x is running in the corner now go ahead and launch star citizen if this is the first time that Vorpex is hooking into it, depending on your setup and system, you may have to install a hook helper. This is how you go about doing that. Wait for the Vorpex hook window to show up. Click on it, drag it, and move it around to make sure that it gets on top of the Star Citizen window like this, and let go. Now, we wait. Still waiting. Eventually, the hook process will fail. At that point, this menu will pop up, and this is the only time you can install this window. There is no way to actually install the hook helper manually. So, once this window pops up, install the hook helper, and you should be good to go. Successfully installed, check, and now we go again. This time, Vorpex, window pops up, attaching to Star Citizen. And then in Steam VR in the now playing window should be the actual game. Now that you are in the main menu, go ahead and hit the middle mouse button. The middle mouse button toggles the edge peak feature for Vorpex. This will allow you to see the edges of your screen, the menus, the UI, and everything else that you can't see when you are in full immersion mode. So, if you need to adjust anything, go ahead and hit that button to do so. Be sure to toggle the middle mouse button now to be able to see all of your main menu. With that said, now we go on to the Vorpex Delete menu. Hit the Delete key on your keyboard, and this should bring up the Settings menu for Vorpex. This is in VR, and it is only in VR. You can't adjust any of this stuff until you're actually seeing it. So. Delete menu toggles that on and off. It will toggle wherever you push it. So if you are leaning forward, it will stick way, way, way far away. So all sorts of amazing, amazing visual settings can be found here. You also have image settings there, display settings, head tracking stuff, controller settings, input, all sorts of stuff that lets you adjust Vorpex to perfectly suit your setup and the way that you play Star Citizen in VR. So, once you have all of the settings tweaked to the way you like it, then it is time to test out Star Citizen in VR. We gotta go to Arena Commander. Go ahead and hop into offline mode, go to free flight, and then pick any map and launch. You're gonna want to make sure that all of your keybinds and stuff are now set up for virtual reality flight combat. I would suggest removing the view options from the joystick, go ahead and doing any and everything that you think that you would need to adjust uh, for full immersion controls, as well as testing FPS stuff uh, in Arena Commander to make sure that you get used to the controls for there. With that being said, once you have everything ready, go ahead and deploy. 
hit the middle mouse button to get into full immersion, and then look around. Make sure everything works properly. And indeed, something is up with my pedals and they aren't moving. So this is a great time to show you what I do to adjust the controls in VR Citizen. Hit the middle mouse button to see your menus, key bindings, you go to joystick, HOTAS, advanced, flight, movement, Let's see here, we want throttle. I bet you anything, my joysticks got swapped around again. There we go, Y axis. Input four. Oh, that's right, I removed my attributes. All of my keybinds aren't saved. Okay, there we go, and we are rolling. You are now a VR citizen. Be sure to check everything out and test stuff. Make sure all of your controls are set up exactly how you like it. And uh, yeah, with that being said, you guys are amazing. Um, enjoy flying around and being awesome. The next five minutes or so are just gonna be me thanking you while I fly around and show you footage from inside the Index as well as the Quest 3. So. With that being said, I uh, hope you enjoy being a VR citizen. Thank you for doing the voodoo that you do, and stay safe, fly right. I'm Chachi Sanchez. Y'all have a good night. Thank you all for your continued support, not only here, but everywhere. Whether that's watching, liking, subscribing on YouTube, or chatting, lurking, and hanging out over on my Twitch channel. For those that want to go out of their way and support the VR Citizen community even further, take a look at the VR Citizen GoFundMe project, where we are raising money to take my mobile VR cockpit to bar citizens and citizen cons near you. If you want to see how the first VR Bar Citizen went, then you can check out the highlight I made of that linked below. Thank you to everyone who helped get me there, and it was a pleasure meeting all of you in person. I hope to be able to continue to bring the voodoo that I do to as many places as it can take me. If you have any issues, or want to help others with their issues, then drop by the Discord to keep an eye out on the troubleshooting channels. The only way we've been able to get this type of program together is because all of you helping each other out and letting us know what does and doesn't work on all the different headsets and PC setups. This entire community is built around helping each other until CIG starts to help us.
With all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this setup tutorial. Thank you for the voodoo that you do. Until next time, as always, stay safe, fly right. I'm Chachi Sanchez. Y'all have a good night. And the Atlas is by the Beacon Tower. Okay. Did somebody grab that atlas by the beacon tower where we spawn the egg. Where we put the egg in. Oh man. Okay. On that ass. Woo! He's definitely got a lot more movement than previous nights. So I'm not sure yeah. if he's bugged or he's also shooting behind us a lot, it seems. He's facing the opposite direction. Yeah, he hasn't attacked me once. It might be because that Polaris is in the background. He's not shooting at it, but it might be just messing him up. All right, lightning strike. The old wife's tell on the internet is that that's a percentage in health. Spitting? Woof! Come on! Come on, little wormy! Want some? Get some! Yeah, yeah, you don't like that. Yeah, that's right. He's getting real pissed now. Just getting up close and personal with his shotgun. How we like to do it. Okay. See. Oh God. We dodged it. Keep firing. I have to be a DT. Can I bring it? That making the house go up, Megan? Sorry. Getting good hits on him down here. Yeah, I think the shotgun is the weapon you're supposed to be using. Just get right on, right on top of them. Just be badass all day. Oh man, I'm tanking him. I'm tanking him. It's like me doing this in Uru with my warlock. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! Am I out of ammo? Reload! Oh, jeez. Yeah. To eat me. I'm dead. <laughs> Are you dead, dead, or in I, I'm dead. I, I respawn on sight, though. I'm going to get my body. Don't you worry. Keep shooting. Holy moly. Which reminds me, I have something here for you.